This is the Vertical Runner, a Cyberdeck that I designed. It's a fully functional, field-ready computer, designed like it walked off the set of a William Gibson-inspired sci-fi epic. Not just built to work, but to speak to the culture we love and belong to. This is a machine made for motion, for chaos, for surviving the collapse and looking good while doing it. It started as a prop and ended up with a two page spread in Raspberry Pi Magazine issue 151. It's been featured online, shared across the maker community, but until now, I've never broken it down publicly. So here it is a look inside the process of building something for the screen that turned out to be much more than that. This wasn't built for benchmarks, it was built for presence. I started with the silhouette, the stance, the profile. What would this look like in my film, at night, on a workbench? in the hands of someone wandering the collapse. That vision came first. The function followed. I wanted it to feel analog and digital at the same time. Like it could boot up Kali Linux or queue up a VHS tape. Every surface, every cutout, every angle was deliberate. I worked with Precision Additive, a 3D print business, and they just got it. I throw them ideas, weird references, pictures of old gear, movie inspiration, and he really helped me bring it into reality. The case, the bracket mounts, the layered layout, while keeping integrating the handle and vertical screen a priority. Here's the twist. Most WaveShare screens aren't designed to run vertically, at least not officially, this was my biggest challenge in taking this from prop to functional computer. But inside this deck, there's a line of code that I wrote that makes it work. Reliable, consistent vertical display on a wave share screen. And I've never shared it until now. Now that you see how simple it is, that seems so silly, but let it serve as a reminder that attention to detail and troubleshooting something as a human being will always be your greatest asset, but only if you keep yourself sharp and stay thinking for yourself. Voila. This cyberdeck wasn't built to be optimized. It was built to represent something. It's a tool, sure, but it's also me, rendered in hardware. But the truth is, this build didn't just give me something cool to hold. It cracks something open. The vertical runner pulled me back into the same wonder I felt as a kid. When I thought hacking was magic, learning assembly, GW basic, programming robotic arms, melting land cables with generators, and lurk on the cult of the dead cow site while playing Doom. Since then, it's been a non-stop cascade, Linux, UART, SDR, sub gigahertz, RFID, hex dump, CTFs. I'm even chasing a certification now in penetration testing through Hack the Box. All of that started here with this one machine, with this idea that building something with your hands can change the way you see the world. Self-expression through cables, through plastic, through function through form. I didn't build a vertical runner to impress anybody. I built it 
because I needed to make something that seemed like it belonged in the world that I see in my head. And somehow, it works pretty damn well in the real one too.